My name is Sarah Gallardo, and I am honored to be the valedictorian for this year's graduating class. I would like to welcome and thank all family, friends, teachers, coaches, clergy, and staff for coming tonight to support our incredible graduating class. So, round of applause for them. As the youngest of four children, I really thought I would be an expert at graduating high school. I spent years watching my siblings apply to college, take their last AP classes, play their final sports seasons, say goodbye to their friends, and even stand on this stage giving a similar speech. So when I began my senior year, I thought, it, I thought it would be a breeze. However, as I stand up here today and reflect on my last 14 years, I realized I did not feel the weight of those moments until they actually passed. As I thought back to all the incredible memories formed at Sacred Heart, I now realize many of these memories represented a last. It was the last afternoon I came home after school with a red uniform shirt covered in dirt because the girls once again beat the boys in soccer at recess. It would be the last time my friends and I would sit together in the front row for mass. It would be the last time we would dance our hearts out at homecoming in the elementary school gym. And it would be the last time we drove around blasting Taylor Swift all day and night. And yes, this includes the boys as well. The concept of something being our last feels rather intimidating. However, over the past 14 years, we have been eagerly awaiting the next big thing. In pre-K, we looked forward to receiving the keys to kindergarten. In elementary school, we wished to be across the tracks at the high school where we could decorate our own personal lockers and ditch the red uniforms. And finally, we wanted to be seniors, where we could rule the school even if we weren't here for seventh period. In always anticipating the next big thing, we forget to live in the little moments and we don't realize their value until they're gone. We always look forward to what was next, which naturally involves growing up. What we didn't realize was how fast we were growing up and somehow the past 14 years flew by. Years of waiting for this exact moment turned into months, months into days, and days into minutes. And well, here we are. We are at the stage where our wishes have slowed down, and I am both saddened and excited to say that we are finally finished with high school. Although small, I hope to never forget memories like the time Julie and I learned how difficult it is to remove stamp ink from the elementary school carpet. <laughs> I promise to never use stamps near carpet again. And locking Ms. Tamburk out of her classroom in religion still makes me laugh to this day. <laughs> Additionally, painting words of affirmation in the girls' bathroom with fellow spirit girls will always hold a special place in my heart. Beyond these small moments, senior year contains a lot of laughs for us, even though they might look different for everyone. When our undefeated mock trial team won their state championship title again, it was bittersweet as it represented an end for the seniors. We started many traditions like painting our parking spots and planning prom by ourselves, but we also ended some traditions too. But it's probably best that we don't talk about those. Personally, I experienced a last when we tried and failed to win a state championship in volleyball twice. <laughs> While these experiences came to an end, they never really go away because they are preserved in our relationships and they define who we are. Thank you to all our patient teachers and staff for your continued support throughout our entire education. Thank you Bishop Kenneman, Father Ken, Father Tomas, and Father Alwyn for your continued religious, educational, and personal guidance. And Father Alwyn, <laughs> Thank you for always being the loudest cheerleader at every sporting event, even though you live 30 miles away. Yes. Miss <laughs> Charles, from your time as our sixth grade teacher to now serving as a principal, you've exemplified leadership, dignity, and grace. Miss Flanagan, thank you for shaping my classmates and me to be the best students we could possibly be in elementary school. Some of us spent a little too much time in your office, but that's neither here nor there. Miss Barbie and Miss Shannon, thank you for always keeping a bright smile on your face while you welcome everyone into the office. 
Even Samantha, when she's 15 minutes late every single day. <laughs> Ms. Wilson, thank you for stepping in and teaching us diligence and dedication, and to always keep trying even when we keep getting the derivative wrong. Mr. Pittman, thank you for showing us how to use our voice while also being the devil's advocate. <laughs> Ms. Thornton, thank you for always going out of your way to build relationships with us. These are just a couple of the many teachers that influenced us and are the reason we are here today. Our teachers served as our mentors, life coaches, co-disciples in faith, encouragers, as well as some of our best friends. We will all miss you dearly. Now, the moment our parents have all been waiting for, thank you. <laughs> thank you for raising us to be bold and bright individuals. Without you, we would not be here today, literally. I mean at graduation, obviously. <laughs> Specifically, thank you to my mom and dad for always being a constant in my life. A simple thank you could never capture my gratitude and appreciation for you. Based on my rough calculations, you've spent countless hours attending over 400 of my sports games. It is beyond my math skills to calculate how many hours my parents have helped spent helping me study, practice my pitching technique, support Girl Scouts, and be my walking planner. Thank you to my siblings, Matthew, Nicholas, and Kate. You have pushed me harder than anyone else to do well in school and life in general. Regardless of our competitive nature and stubbornness, we worked hard together, and some of the best moments in life are when I'm with you three. And happy birthday, Matthew. <laughs> to my classmates and my best friends, Thank you for being there for me for the past 14 years. Before I knew who I was, you knew me. Through every stumble and heartbreak, we have supported and pushed each other to grow. I don't remember a time without you, and I don't want to. When we are together, we are like a family, which makes this goodbye 10 times harder. If I had the chance to hold on to all of you a little bit longer, I would take it in a heartbeat. Nothing I say tonight will ease the pain of leaving the people who built me into the person I am today but I am confident in saying that there is something great inside of all of you that the world needs more than I do. Now, as I reflect on my time at Sacred Heart, the most important and joyful parts weren't the grades I made or the clubs I pursued. The most important moments were the incredible people I got the chance to know, and I thank God every day for giving me the opportunity to be here with them today. At Sacred Heart, we are bound by a common commitment to faith, and we have grown in our discipleship because of our time here. As we continue our journey of life, whether that be college, the military, or the workforce, may we never forget where we came from, the beliefs we hold, and the days that are now memories. In a few short months, we won't be sitting in a classroom next to the same people we have been for the past 14 years. We won't discuss how long it took each of us to complete that one English assignment. We won't get to have our scone dance ritual as we feast on the delicious blueberry scones after mass days. Instead, we will find ourselves in new places, some further than others. We will all grow in new ways and find new ways to be comforted. Although this ceremony marks the end of high school, it is also just the beginning for every student sitting in here. My only request to our graduating class is to try to think about the little milestones in this next phase. Try not to be fixated on the big moments, marking the beginning and the end of the journey. As we learn in English class, carpe diem, seize the day and try to relish the small moments and the small lasts. Thank you and congratulations to the class of 2023.